Let's continue exploring Flask Migrate by looking at downgrades, also known as database rollbacks. So before we begin, I forgot to mention last time that Flask Migrate is built on top of Alembic, which is actually powering the migrations themselves. And the majority of the Alembic functionality can, can be used with Flask Migrate. So why use Flask Migrate then? Well, because it integrates nicely with Flask. And also when we first initialize database migrations using the init command, Flask Migrate set up a nice base configuration for us. Okay, so let's take a look at handling database rollbacks. First, you want to make this command your best friend. Python manage.py db dash dash help. So this shows the available commands associated with Flask Migrate, upgrade, branches, migrate, etc. And this just so happens to be the majority of the commands that Alembic handles, as you can see here. So we're going to be using the downgrade argument. But first, let's go ahead and put a dummy migration through so we can test this out. So I'm going to open the models.py file. And I don't know, let's go ahead and add a favorite color field to the users table. So favorite color. And this is going to be a string. So we can go ahead and create the migration script with migrate. Well, let's just assume that script is correct and we can run upgrade to apply the migration. Now we can double check those changes within vSQL. We can connect to our database, which is called discover flask dev. Here's all our tables. And let's take a closer look at our users table. We can see our new field or column here, favorite color. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say word for management just came down that users are having trouble picking just one color as their favorite. So let's just go ahead and eliminate it altogether. So we can do a quick rollback. So I'm going to exit out of psql there. And to do a rollback, we can use the downgrade command here. Let's roll back one revision. So again, that just rolled back one revision. And you can also downgrade to a specific revision ID number. And to get those ID numbers, you can run manage.pydb history. And this will show all of your migrations along with their associated revision ID numbers. Now keep in mind that any colors that they have been added to the database were lost when we ran the downgrade. So I highly recommend backing up the database before doing any sort of rollbacks. Now if you want to change the field to say favorite colors, we can either remove the old migration script or we can edit that migration script ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and update the model here. And now I am going to change that to favorite colors. Now we can just run our upgrade. Let's double check that again. So connect to the database. And let's take a closer look at users. Now we have favorite colors here. Go ahead and exit out. Let's look at our history again. And let's do a rollback to this revision here. So instead of doing negative one, let's go ahead and put the revision ID number in there. And actually, this needs to be changed to favorite colors because the downgrade is looking at our users table and it's looking for a column called favorite color, which obviously wasn't there. 
So I change that to favorite colors. Anytime you make any changes really to the upgrade, you should also make the changes, the matching changes to the downgrade. So now if we run this command, the downgrade worked. Let's take a look at SQL. And that field is gone. And finally, let's just remove this field altogether. And we can delete this script. Cool. So this covers most of the basics, which should account for the majority of changes that you'll need to make to your database schema. Be sure to check the Alembic documentation for more information. Thanks again, and see you next week.